hello everyone uh, in this video i'll show you how to refill the cartridge of um, hp office jet pro 6978 printer so i'm sorry that it is difficult to see the model here anyway the printer is on now and this printer also support instant ink i think uh, you might have some idea about instant ink if you subscribe to instant ink uh, the hp will send you uh, some cartridges that are pre-filled and you have to pay according to your monthly use like for 50 pesos you need to pay four canadian dollars or maybe 100 pesos you need to pay six or five canadian dollars like that so uh, let us start by opening the on this side you have to hold here and you have to open the card chamber here you can see if you turn on your printer and open the cartridge chamber uh, the cartridge from here it will from this side it will move to a position where you will be able to handle those cartridges so uh, as i have already uh, brought the cartridges here uh, just for your information my black cartridge was printing well and suddenly after printing about 100 pages it showed some broken lines so i'll just refill this black cartridge today um, among those color cartridges i think um, the yellow and the blue cartridges are uh, having some ink but the magenta one does not have any ink anyway i'm not uh, looking for color printing now so i'll refill this black cartridge only and one thing to remember that all these cartridges have pigmented ink so um, that will be fine that uh, if you can refill these cartridges uh, with uh, pigmented ink however those print uh, those cartridges that supports pigmented ink can also be refilled with dry ink so uh, i'm not going to refill this i will refill only this one with pigmented ink at first i'll uh, do a printout of this test page to show you uh, how it is printing so let me select this printer first and i'm going to click print it's printing i just uh, kept this printer and the down on my floor so to facilitate my work to be perfect so you can see it is showing some white lines in between texts so that means um, the print i mean the ink level is very low that is why it's coming so let us uh, refill the cartridge and see uh, what happens for that and this is the ink i'm going to uh, use today so i bought this uh, bcs ink uh, from amazon and i followed the price maybe it uh, was around 40 bucks or something or 45 i'm not sure so let me show you actually it had um, now it has two black ink but actually it had three black pigmented ink and three dry ink i'm not going to refill with the uh, colors now I'll just use the black pigmented ink to refill the black cartridge only. So let us go here and uh, get this black uh, cartridge out. Just taking it. And this, there is a simple knob here, you can see. You just need to press it and take it off. So there are few options to complete the job. Uh, the easiest way to do it is you can see here there is a um, this is the place from where it comes down you can just uh, refill from here uh, with a syringe and there are other ways like this is a breathing hole for the cartridge so you can make a hole over here with a, a small drilling uh, drilling bit uh, to 
push the ink inside but I'm not going to open this cartridge I'm just going to simply refill through this place well now I'll take my black ink insurance uh, this is the insurance I used before for black ink Now I'll take this ink from this pigmented ink bottle uh, using this shurins and it has I think around half bottle maybe or less and if we get some here I'll take five milliliters I don't think it's uh, it will accept maybe I'll be able to refill only one or two millimeters milliliters because uh, this is too um, it has very little space okay so just hold it here and put the ink drop by drop Uh, it is absorbing quickly that means it is uh, still it has a space but i'm not going to refill all five milliliters uh, just four, uh, four ml is enough and once it is done uh, just keep the cartridge in this position so what will happen if it is overfilled the extra ink will come down so keep this cartridge in that way for a while in elevated way so that uh, any extra ink uh, can go down and once um, you notice that there is no ink is coming out of this cartridge uh, you can simply just put it in place and start printing but remember one thing uh, in your printer you need to change some setting like uh, so that it will stop counting uh, because uh, uh, it has a chip that counts uh, how many pages you are printing uh, that is not related to how much ink is remaining uh, I waited for a couple of minutes and I found no ink is coming down that means that is uh, it is not overflown now I'll uh, insert this ink cartridge in place and see what happens my son to do a printing can you please go to the printer and print the page has improved a bit but it is not exactly what I have been looking for you can simply compare these two pages side by side uh, this is the first time uh, I mean the last page uh, before refilling and this is after refilling you can see here this is before refill and this is after refill so you can see these boxes 80% 70% 60% these are not visible here otherwise text uh, printing is okay here you can see these are not good before but here it is looking good uh, except slight I mean some white lines okay uh, can you please do one more please after uh, printing couple pages maybe it will start function again well it's 
still uh, it is not doing that's good that's good okay let me uh, do one more thing now i'll just clean the print head so maintenance and it is difficult to see but okay clean print head continue if you buy this printer um, uh, immediately in the next month you can i mean uh, sign up for the instant ink they will give you two months of free trial Report. Uh, sometimes uh, you should not do repeated cleaning or repeated testing once you clean the printhead uh, once or twice after that you should uh, leave the printer for a couple of hours to do further printing because after repeated cleaning there will be excess ink uh, just near the head and it will be uh, clogged so to prevent that uh, we should not do cleaning for many times but let me do one one more time i'll do twice only and see if what happens uh, and immediately after cleaning the print head sometimes the print quality may not be good but after waiting for a couple of hours the print quality will be uh, close to the original card prints so for the second time it printed the well now you can see the black is very good but the color phases are not doing good because actually i told you i don't have the magenta so the magenta did not print at all okay uh can we just print the black page again now let me check for the final time I don't know why did it uh, print the color, but uh, actually I was uh, looking for the um, black mainly. Anyway, so my main intention to uh, do some uh, black page print. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. As you can see, uh, it has uh, mass improved. Well, uh, I'll check it after a couple of hours later again. I hope it will be uh, in good shape. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.